Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the second episode of the Remnant tutorial series. In this episode, we will be setting up the camera and also setting up the left and right shoulder switch for the camera. So basically, I have a little example here. You'll be able to switch between the two shoulders. So without further ado, we will get into that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our character. And we're going to go to our camera boom. Click our viewport so we can see what's going on here. So I'm going to set the length of the camera for the of the boom to 150 and since the camera is connected to it it will pull it in and we can just parent the camera to the spring arm endpoint um we're going to set this to minus 20 and our y to 60 so long as that's our camera. And in our player camera, everything looks fine there. Let's go check our character for movement. <laughs> Something we have to toggle here. Okay, you want to scroll down to the rotation settings. And you want to toggle off the orient rotation movement. So now you should have your camera set up like this. Just going to double check that orient rotation movement. Yeah, there. I don't want to disable that. Um, now in our camera boom, we're going to want to deal with the camera lag. So we want to enable camera lag. And we're going to set this to 15. And the max camera lag distance, we're going to set that to 30. So now we should have a bit of a camera lag. Our character should move around and like slightly move with the camera to look a little better. Um, so now that we have that done, we're going to go to our character, event graph, um, so I select all of this and control X and that copies everything and deletes at the same time. Create a new graph input graph and then we're going to control V and paste it all back in here I'll save that um, okay so we're going to want to create a new input so we want to go into our edit and project settings inputs um, we can remove the reset VR and our new input is going to be called um, something with camera. Move camera for now. I'll just make it toggle camera. And then we're going to right click toggle camera. I'm actually going to quickly just organize this movement here. It's going to comment everything. I actually have to delete that comment. I like to go into my editor preferences and I always like to go search up for my comments. I don't like these white ones, so I just usually bring it to a darker color. So that when I create my comments now, they're not this white anymore. So this is just going to be movement 
inputs. Just gonna select all of these. Alt click. Yeah, let's just select all of them. And then we're just gonna bring it down a bit. There. And I'm also should have kept these all selected because I'm also going to disable this. And There we go. That's good enough for now. Now we have our toggle camera. We're going to need a new a few variables. Um, one will be the left camera boolean, which will determine if it's the left camera. I'm just going to Make a camera category. So this will basically tell us if it's the left, if it's currently in on the left side or the right side. We're gonna need another variable called camera location. And this is gonna be, or actually, let's create this as we're going through it. So first. Uh, first, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get you another know, boolean called camera moving. This will check to see if our camera is currently moving between left to right camera. That's the first thing we're gonna check for. When we press the toggle camera button, get that. Comment. And if it's not moving, we're going to get our player camera. We're going to get our relative location. And we're going to promote this to a variable. And this is going to be camera location. So if it's not moving, we're going to set the current location of the camera. Okay, so let's give that a little comment. And after we do that, we're going to check if the camera is a left camera. So basically, if this is set, that means we've clicked the camera. And uh, we're currently in left state. So we're going to create a boolean. So clicking, you can right click and search for, for a branch or hold B and click. And if it is not the left camera, which is what it is by default. We are going to create a timer. Sorry, timeline. This is going to be the move camera left. I'm going to play this from the start. And On update, we're going to set relative location. So each time, first we'll set up the timeline. So we're going to open that up and we'll create a function. And it's just time. Right click and create a float two vote uh, values here. This one's just going to be on zero and zero value. Our length is going to be 0.3 and our time is going to be 0.3 on our second one and the value is going to be 1. 
So it moves between zero and one. And that will be used to set our lerp for our, our alpha for our lerp, which determines basically the length, the time between moving between point A and point B. So we'll drag out and search for lerp vector. So it'll take 0.3 seconds to move from 0 to 1, which is the alpha. And we're going to get our camera location. Just put that in there. And the current value is whatever the camera, wherever the camera currently is at. So it's on the left or right side. So at this point, it's actually on the right side. And the final value is vector plus vector minus 130. So it's going to add minus 130 and bring it down. We can also subtract 130 from here if you really, if you wanted to, we'd do the same thing. I just did this because I actually did the top half first and then I just used the same one and just put the subtract there. So basically now we have this done. Also while the relative, while it's updating, we're going to set the camera movement moving to true so that our camera is moving basically. And on finished, We're going to set that it's the left camera when it finishes moving, and we're also going to disable the camera moving so that we can now, once it finishes, we can now get beyond here again. So now that we have this done, camera is location and new camera to the left location over time zero point three seconds set timeline and we can actually copy all of this and paste it right above and we're just going to change one little thing here oh didn't want to open that right yet it's going to rename this timeline to move cam right timer and the timer is already set up and we'll just remove this so it's plus instead of minus and then we'll play from the start and the camera is moving and we're going to disable the left camera here because it's currently moving to the right and that should be everything for the moving for moving the camera it's going to test it out now. Uh, you're going to want to go into your pod settings. Uh, you're going to want to make sure to actually put an input so it actually picks something up. I'm going to use V. <laughs> so V, V. And then we can toggle our camera back and forth between, and the camera is also in the correct location so that when we open it up, our character is on the side there. Click V and V. And once we set it up a little bit more, we're going to make it so that when we aim in, it'll move our character slightly into the a more correct position. Um, I'm just gonna... Organize that a little bit. Comment this as toggle 
left slash right camera movement. There we go. A couple little things that I wanted to do was um, on event begin play. Or actually, we'll do that in the next video when I set up the aiming. Um, but we're going to go to our meshes, skeletal character mesh. And I'm going to rename this to Master Skeleton so that when we're targeting, we'll be able to notice this one a little more. We have multiple skeletons well, until we delete things. So now we know exactly what this one is. And we'll fix up redirectors and save all just to be safe. And we'll also go into our animations. And I believe we're using that weird named one U4. Yeah, so we're just gonna master NMVP. And uh, we can just delete this third person one because we don't need that no more. And it's gonna fix up redirectors and save all. And also, another thing if, if you loaded up your project, and you notice that your map was missing, that's, you simply just need to go into your maps and modes. Now it's because we moved some files around so it couldn't get the correct locations anymore. We're gonna set our game mode to GM Remnant, or whatever game mode name you selected, and then we're just gonna put our map back into here. So then we start up the editor and our default map. And uh, that's going to be everything. If you found this video helpful, want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial video uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below or uh, join my Discord. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.